Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for mid-November. So from now until the end of November, okay? But keep in mind that this reading is for somebody, not everybody. It's not a private reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not, okay? I always cut the Vice Versa deck before I turn on the camera and I cut it to the Hierophant um, well, you could say this is reverse, but not really. It's just a different meaning. Um, this is uh, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm not sure if I said that. <laughs> anyway, it is Mercury retrograde, so there's going to be uh, communication issues, and some words might come out a little jumbled. Please bear with me as that happens. Anyway, um, the hair font reversed, or with his back turned, thinking, um, needing to go within, really needing to listen, really, really dig deep to listen to your inner guide. You may not have the faith that you need to have in yourself. Believe in yourself. Know that you can follow your own path with confidence. Okay? So it looks as though you guys are going through some sort of rebirth. Okay, you are. Especially right now, okay? Um, really, really pay attention to all the signs at this time. Pay attention to the synchronicities. Pay attention to um, everything because at this time there are no coincidences. Okay, and there isn't anyway, but... There's no coincidences. There, everything happens for a reason. Pay attention to the signs because you are receiving signs all the time. All the time, all the time, all the time. Um, this is a card of faith. Don't lose faith. You may be faced with some sort of conflict, but this conflict is happening to bring change into your life, okay? See, this baby has the key. This rebirth that you're going through is going to unlock new doors. You may be a little uncomfortable with some changes that are going on right now. But new doors are being unlocked. That is also the sign of Taurus. Ooh, oh, the goosebumps are coming again. I don't know, every time I started reading those spirits, they come and they come in strong. They do. Um, lately, the spirits are with me, like, really, really heavily. Um, you have an exciting new opportunity here. You may re be receiving an invitation to start a new endeavor that leads to something really That has a lot of potential for growth, put it that way. Where you can take the lead, maybe even be the boss. Okay? I see a golden opportunity being handed to you that is going to bring more abundance into your life. So, this looks fantastic. Fantastic. Um... It looks like you guys are going to be stronger than ever. <laughs> I mean, come on now. I see a lot of uh, confidence, strength, wisdom, courage, uh, abundance just flowing right to your life and getting respected. 
getting the respect that you deserve. I think there's a new path opening up for you and it's something that is going to bring you stability, security, perhaps even more money. It's something to celebrate. It is um, <laughs> a gift. You're receiving some sort of gift. Whether this is an inheritance or it's a, a promotion or it's a raise or it's inner abundance. I don't know. Don't lose your faith because you are going to receive some sort of reward. There's no doubt about it. There's And the goosebumps are just, I got chills throughout my whole body once again. So this right here is an exciting opportunity and offer from somebody that promises growth. I mean, this is great. Thank you, Lord. This is an offer that you can really take to the bank. This That's a hand, and he's taking it to that bank. This is something you can take to the bank, okay? Oh, God. Remember, this card was under it, and here it is. I let it go, and it's back. It was meant to come out. Um, somebody, you know, oh God, the chills are crazy. Follow your intuition. There you are. You've transformed. You've, you've went through this transition that you needed to go through. Now balance and harmony is coming back to your life. And I think it's because you have passed a test of some sort. You have passed some sort of test. And it does have to do with following your own path, not giving up on yourself, listening to your intuition, rising back up after being brought to your knees. You were dealing with somebody who tried to bring you down, but that person's moving out of your life. That, that energy is moving out. This person brought you down. It may have caused you to lose your faith, this person or situation, for a little bit, but it's moving out. It's, it's going out of the situation. It's, it's going away. So if somebody had stolen your energy or had zapped you or drained you, that is, is going to go out. It's going out. It's going away. Um, you guys have evolved. And I've tried to deny this card twice, and it is still here. Um, it's the King of Pentacles. This is um, really focused. You are really, really focusing on your money, your job, your finances, um, coming up with stable uh, plans. You know, it looks like you guys are in planning mode and the plans that you have come up with are coming to fruition. You know what I mean? It's like closing yourself off to the... Um, opposition it has allowed you to stabilize and come up with concrete rewards you know what I'm trying to say you guys are definitely going to be rewarded for taking the time out that you needed to refocus replan stabilize And get back to where you need to be. And you are right back to where you need to be. You guys are moving right. Remember, I think one of my readings said climbing up that ladder. And you absolutely are climbing up that ladder. If your money has been bad, you should see an increase. And it's because of the hard work. It's because that's your main focus at this time. Oh. Uh, I forgot to focus this in for... Uh my last one. So anyway, I didn't forget to focus it in for you because that's where you guys are at. Your your ability to refocus and replan and look the competition in the eye is bringing you some sort of reward. That's what I see. It's like, yeah, you may have brought me down, but I didn't stay there and I'm not staying there. And I feel like you are receiving some sort of gift for following your path without. Oh, what's the word for it? 
backing down. I can't think of the word I was going to say, but basically it's backing down. It's as though you are, you're definitely receiving a, a reward for the hard work, for the struggles that you've been through. There's no doubt. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Um, I see a, I see a transformation here. You guys are receiving basically, I would say the, uh, the, uh, the gold, you know, you're receiving the gold that is at the end of the rainbow, you know, and it's because you kept yourself under control. You restrained yourself from losing it. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like, I'm going to go within. I'm going to reflect. I'm going to come up with a new plan. I'm going to get really focused. And I'm going to prevail. And with that mentality, you have prevailed. It's like you're right back on top of your game. And I think that other people have gained a lot of respect for you through this transition that you have been through. <sighs> and whoever has been against you is probably deciding that they can't beat you, so they might as well give up. That's what it looks like to me. They might as well quit trying because you're forced to be reckoned with. That's what I see. Um... <laughs> You're receiving a solid opportunity, whether this is a relationship or a job offer, you are receiving an opportunity that you can absolutely bank on, okay? It's going to make you very, very, very happy. And it's after you have been brought down to your knees, hit rock bottom. With this High Priestess card, it's like you knew, you knew that you were going to receive this opportunity. through hard work and, per and perseverance. And now, the time is now, the time is now for you to receive the reward. That's all I can see is, is you're getting the reward that you deserve for listening, for restraining yourself, for going within, for believing in yourself. So don't go back to where you were because other people have gained respect for the struggle that you've been through. They, you know what I'm trying to say? That's one of my favorite words, isn't it? Um, you've dealt with a person that was very demeaning, okay? This person um, was brought into your life to teach you strength, to teach you courage, to teach you to go within, to teach you to follow your intuition. And even though they brought you down, they, they, taught you how to stand up for yourself. And now, you have an opportunity for a brand new beginning. A fresh new start. A fresh new lease. Where you don't have to take that person with you. Yeah, that person's covered up now. It's like you're facing your demons. You're facing your haters. And they're going to start floating away. Mm. 
You have an exciting new opportunity here. And it's because of your ability to persevere. I keep hearing perseverance, perseverance, perseverance. So yeah, you have a brand new beginning here that is leading you down a new pay path. But I have to remind you with this card and this card, do not give up faith. Remember to believe in yourself through this whole process. Believe in your path. Follow your own path. Because that's where you're going to get the biggest reward. By listening to your intuition. Listening to your gut. And cutting out the people who hurt you. So Sagittarius, I feel as though you guys are... No longer focused on who brought you down. And I think that, that those people that brought you down know that. I think they know that. And I think you are letting them go. And bringing harmony and peace and joy back to your life. And because you're facing this opposition head on, you're receiving a war reward from above. Now, is this in regards to love or what? Hmm. Hang man. You guys have been stuck, right? You've been stuck in a situation. Other people have been watching you hang and leaving you there. They've been letting you hang, right? Not even helping you. Them sons of a bitches. Just letting you hang. Wanting you to hang yourself. No, not hang yourself physically, but you know what I mean? Wanting you to fail. Waiting for you to fail. Waiting for you to crumble. But in fact, you were becoming enlightened. And you were growing. Stronger and stronger and stronger. And now you're about to receive a reward for all your strength. There's the strength card. I love you, God. I love, they do this all the time. You know it. You know it. The Empress is facing her demons. That's, the goosebumps are so big. That's true strength. You have found your self-worth, your dignity, and your pride. Congratulations. This demon has no more power over you because the power is over your head. Congratulations. You have taken back your power. And even though this demon may try it's not going to work. Because you are moving in a new direction at lightning speed. And endings bring new beginnings. And you have a major new beginning here because you've went through a transformation and you have passed the test. You have a new beginning here, whether it's in love or job or work, whatever it is. You have an exciting new opportunity that is better suited for you than where you've been.
You've evolved and this is what you deserve. Now you have to, you, it looks as though you have made a decision to take the world in your hands. So congratulations, <laughs> congratulations. I see success. Now this is the Six of Cups. You may have been waiting for quite some time for this person that brought you down to come around and help you, but they're not in the picture. They're not here to help you. And now you're moving in a new direction towards victory and success. And the past is being left behind and there will be no chance of going back because that road is disintegrating. You're headed towards victory and success at lightning speed, so congratulations. Your perseverance has paid off. Let's get one of these for you. Is this about love? It's up to you. I see a new opportunity that is better suited for you. This could be a person. It could be a person, could be anything. This is an exciting new opportunity that is coming into your life that is too... I can't even think of the words. It's Mercury retrograde. I can't talk at all. It's too... Um, Good to pass up, put it that way. So this could be a new partnership. It absolutely could. Especially with this, with a two, it could be a new partnership. With something or somebody that is very well suited for you. This is a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Scorpio, Sagittarius. Leo, Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but that's heading out. This this situ this person it doesn't have to be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be anybody. We have Cancer here. Whatever is happening, the person that held you back is removing themselves, or they're being, re or you're removing them. They're no longer going to hold you back. That's over. That's over. Storm warning. Just what you needed, right? And this is this is good advice because it is Mercury retrograde. Beware. Beware. There's a storm coming. To test your perseverance. If it hasn't happened already, this could have already happened. You've been through quite a, quite a storm, haven't you? But you have gained enough strength to deal with it. I see that you guys are moving in a direction towards complete success where you are in control. There's no doubt about it. The boss. This is the boss. You're the boss. Letting go of the anxiety, the depression, and moving very quickly towards abundance. So in mid-November, you should expect to receive something great because you have faced your demons and persevered against your haters. I see a complete transformation here. There's no doubt. Transformation, 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 three times. The storm is just about over if it's not already. 
okay? It's your turn to receive. I'm so happy. I really am. I got two of them. You deserve love. You are lovable. And you deserve love. You deserve love in every situation in your life. And they know it. Ooh, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Whoever it is that held you back, goodbye. Adios. See ya. Because the universe sees what you deserve, whether this is in love or money. You deserve it. Congratulations. <laughs>